Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing well, had a good weekend, sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this may not resonate with everyone that watches. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, but this could resonate for you if you have sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in Capricorn, or you are dealing with somebody that does have those birth chart placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box. You can find information there about my services, um, links to my social media pages, more information about how these readings work and how to interpret them and more. So please take a moment to read through that, please. Capricorn. One more shuffle and we will get into it. Well, you guys had an extra card that came out. Somebody's been waiting on communication. Oh, no, you didn't have an extra card. What am I talking about? <laughs> somebody's been waking, waiting on communication. What is this? From somebody that left them in the cold, out in the cold, somebody that ghosted them, somebody that didn't give them what they deserved in the past, didn't know their worth, didn't know their value. Some of you guys could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also see air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo energy here as well. Somebody was conflicted about which direction they should go. So they, or what they should do or making a decision about something. So they held back. They were holding back communication from you. That I feel like maybe you guys were waiting on, but I feel like maybe somebody has gained that clarity that they need to be able to make a decision or to take action now. Could be happening. This could be a water sign that is doing this. I don't feel like somebody's conflicted anymore. I feel like somebody has gained that clarity now. They've gained the insight that they need to be able to make a decision here. Yeah, they're freeing themselves from their mind. Yeah, now somebody's taking action towards you. It could be a cancer. There was maybe some tension in their life or between the two of you, but I feel like that has cleared or has settled. I feel like somebody was taking a really long time. Maybe somebody didn't want something stable in the in the past. They didn't want a commitment. They didn't want to settle down. They didn't want to bring in a stable offer here. But, and I feel like it was like, they, they, they didn't, somebody in the past maybe didn't want a relationship because they were trying to heal from something here, but it looks like they have healed. It looks like they have finally healed from something here. They lacked power. They felt like they didn't. They were powerless in a situation. But I feel like somebody is gaining the courage and the strength now. They, they've taken their power back. Um, and now they want to manifest something long-term and stable here. I feel like if somebody has been on a pause, they're ready to take action now. They, you, you may have found out that this person was secretly juggling another situation. Or that they, they, they were juggling something here. They were maybe trying to have a new beginning elsewhere. They were giving their love to somebody else and it caused a tower moment between the two of you. Like you found out that somebody wasn't single or maybe this person's finding out that you're not single anymore and now they weren't single but they were in a very unstable situation with somebody that was very um, not a good person. Okay, like I don't know how to say it. I don't think they were getting much from that situation anymore and I, but I think they were maybe stuck in that situation out of fear. But I don't see that they're scared anymore. I don't see that they're blocked anymore. 
but there's still some type of instability about this person. They they still haven't achieved some type of they're not a, they maybe they it's because they there's still something unstable about this person and maybe they're not still being completely honest or they haven't gained 100% clarity or 100% moved on from something yet. They're lacking they're a little bit fed up with something here. They're a little bit exhausted. They're a little bit little feeling a little bit hopeless like in a situation. Let's get some clarifiers. All right, what's the King of Cups? Tell me about this King of Cups. Friendship. So this was somebody that friend zoned you. This was somebody that you maybe started off as friends with or they maybe just wanted to stay friends with you. But I feel like this person had deeper feelings for you than they were letting on. And it says this friendship is leading to more. So this person is wanting more than a friendship with you now. This person, it, everything was their fault in the situation. They're, they're like, it's like they're finally like realizing like it was their fault, whatever went down between the two of you guys, but they may have tried to make it seem like it was your fault. But everything that happened was their fault. <laughs> All right, Page of Swords. So... It's like, yeah, like I feel like this person is gaining some clarity. I feel like they're reflecting on a time, like maybe the last time you guys spoke or saw each other. It's like they remember that day very detailed and um, they wish that they would have, like they, maybe they said some very cutting words to you. They said something very hurtful to you and they wish that they would have never said that to you. They regret that. What's the sun? This person has realized that they have, they love you. They've realized they have unconditional love for you. I don't feel like this love is ever going to go away either. But there was something about their situation with you. They, 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 it felt like it was morally incorrect. They felt like they were like, something was like, not like maybe something about your situation didn't align with their morals and values for whatever reason. They felt like they were doing something wrong by, yeah, we have unavailable here. So they felt like they were in a, another relationship. They felt like they had loyalty to somebody else or they were in another relationship. Or maybe you were in another relationship. Or maybe somebody was like married or somebody was like, but like separated or going through a divorce. I don't know. But they something about your relationship seemed morally incorrect for them. What's the five of wands? This person's conflicted. It's like maybe, what are they conflicted on? They were conflicted on whether, why everything was happening the way they were very like, they, they were, they didn't understand why. If there was a conflict between the two of you guys, they didn't understand why it happened. But I feel like now they know why everything had to happen that way or what caused the conflict. It's like they're taking some accountability here. Yeah, so this person is definitely realizing that they loved you, that they still probably do love you, that they were in love with you. It's like they're waiting on some type of cue or sign from you before they make a move towards you. What's the two of wands? This person couldn't make a decision on whether or not this was something just sex-based, lust-based, or if this was something deeper than that. Or maybe this person was trying to make a decision between a lust situation, like a situation where like they got like some type of, it was just sex based in a situation where like they had a soul connection. That's what I'm seeing here. So what now? I don't react when people mention you. So this person's like kind of like, I want to say they're keeping you a secret or they're feeling for it. They're just like really not really talking very much about you. What's the five of pentacles? I mean, four of pentacles. This person has been holding back from you, but this person is like in love with you guys. Like they know that they're in love with you, but they've been holding back from you. So now what? Something is unfo unfolding in divine timing. It says, yeah, there's something here about timing is not right. There is true love between you and this person, but there's divine timing at play in this situation. And there's something about the present that is not ideal for the situation to come together. All right. What's the three of wands? This person's realizing that 
I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back into their life. Or like maybe they've been waiting, like I said, like they maybe they're waiting on like a sign from you or you guys have been waiting for this person. But I feel like this person has come to the realization that you were like really like the best thing that ever happened to them. And then they kind of feel like they fumbled it. Yeah, this person sees you and everything. They look for you everywhere. What's the eight of wands? Yeah, this person lost themselves. Like they were just like not in touch with themselves. They were just very lost and confused. And that's what really caused a pause between you and this person or there was a need for a pause. And they had to make a decision here. They had to make a decision about this connection, whether or not this is something that they, that they had to really, I think, recognize what this was, that this was something more serious than just a little sex, like a, something sexual or a fling. They had to come to that realization. They had to make a decision maybe between you and another person, a decision about whether or not they wanted to offer you a commitment. But look at this, guys. You have leap of faith here. Somebody is going to be taking a leap of faith towards you. They're going to finally feel it, be feeling like it's safe to take a leap of faith here. I know I messed up everything. I told you this person knows that they were the cause of the downfall of this connection. This person was immature. They're emotionally immature and they had to take some time to grow up. They had to take some time to make some changes in their life. This person, I feel like rejected you in the past, but this is in reverse. So this person's like going to come back and try to have this offer. They're, you guys maybe were offering your love to this person in the past and they rejected you. Now this person wants this love that you were offering them in the past. They're not, they don't want to hide anymore. I don't feel like this person is like coming toward, they may have been very like in lust when they first pursued you, but now this person's hoping that you will forgive them. They're thinking about you a lot at night. Um, if they had some issues with their finances that has been re resolved, they know that um, they know that they love you. They know that you guys are soulmates or you have a soul connection here. They're recognizing that now. And this person was afraid of you getting too close to them, but now I feel like they want to open you like let you into their heart they want to be vulnerable with you they want to like what am i trying to say they want to have open arms so this is what i have for you guys um i hope that this reading gave you some insight it helped you in some way if it did i would really appreciate it if you like comment share and subscribe um don't forget to um like and follow me on instagram and facebook um what else oh personal readings are open check the description box for information about that but other than that guys it's what i have for you um and i will talk to you soon Bye.